So as the game is going on for the Eagles, Jalen Hurts is getting abused in the pocket. I mean, he's getting hit left and right. The Bucs are using different fronts and formations, bringing all types of blitzes. And it looks like the Eagles offensive line is confused. They're either not picking up these pressures or they're just getting beat at the point of attack in one-on-one matchups by guys like Kalaja Kansi. So Jay Gruden, we can put this screen, put this uh, tweet up on the screen for you. Jay Gruden says, if I ever put a quarterback through what Philly is putting Jalen through, I apologize. Pick up a blitz. Now, picture this. Here's the scene. I'm sitting on the floor in the hotel room watching the game after Monday Night Countdown. Someone tags me in this tweet, in a quote tweet, and and I see that Jay Gruden has said this. My first immediate reaction was, there's no way that's real. There is no way that Jay Gruden wrote that as a serious tweet, because if he did, he has zero self-awareness. Well, he did. And I could not wait to jump on this one. It's very seldom in life that you get opportunities to say things or dunk on somebody who literally dunked on you while you were playing. And I took the most of this opportunity and I put this picture up and said, say what? It went viral bananas. Everyone's laughing, talking about it. I think it's over. Oh, no, it's not over yet. Jay Gruden comes back, put it on the screen and says, you weren't prepared, Robert? With a question mark. Oh, my goodness. He says he wasn't prepared. And I came back and I dropped some truth. And the truth of the matter was Jay Gruden told me while I was in Washington in my first year that he did not know how to game plan for me or call plays for a guy who could run and throw like I could. Jay had no comeback for that. And the comeback that he did come back with was very weak. So if Jay Gruden really wants to talk, I'm not going to cuss the man out. I'm not going to call him outside of his name. But what I am going to do is tell you guys the truth. And the truth of the matter is, there is a moment in D.C. that is vividly remembered. Everyone talked about it because Jay Gruden went to a press conference and he undressed me at that press conference in a way that a coach should never undress his starting quarterback. One, he robs his starting quarterback of the ability to lead in the locker room. Two, he shows the entire locker room that he does not rock with that player. And three, it shows everyone in the National Football League that you do not want this guy to be your quarterback, a la Sean Payton with Russell Wilson. So this moment I'm talking about happened, I believe, in 2014, the 2014 season. And it was after a game. And I said in the press conference that the best players in the NFL have the guys around them play at an extremely high level. No one is out there doing it on their own. Now, the the media pundits and everyone took that and said, RG3 threw his teammates under the bus. And I had to eat that for a long time because Jay didn't back me in the media the next day. He doubled down on it uh, and, and actually picked me apart in the media. But what people don't know is that the only reason I went to that press conference and said what I said to challenge my teammates through that press conference was because Jay Gruden asked me to do that. He asked me to do that earlier in the week. If the game didn't go the way we wanted it to go and we ended up losing, he said, I need you to challenge the guys to be better. And I need you to challenge them in a public way through a press conference. Now, What hurt me about that was the fact that after I did that in the press conference, not only did Jay Gruden not have my back, but he actually burned me with it. He came out the next day and burned me in the media. He came out the next day in a meeting in our team meeting room and burned me in front of my own teammates. So much so that I can tell you right now, one guy who is my colleague named Ryan Clark, he was in that meeting. And Jay Gruden put up on the screen, hey, we're going to, when we talk in the media, we're only going to talk about ourselves. We're not going to talk about anybody else. We're not going to talk about what anybody else needs to do. We're just going to talk about what we need to do. Ryan Clark stood up in the back of the room and he said to Jay, hey, coach, no need to beat around the bush. You can go ahead and tell everybody in in this room who you're actually talking about. Now, everyone in the room knew he was talking about me, but Ryan Clark had to stand up and say that. And when he said that, Jay then proceeded to talk and say, yes, I'm talking about Robert. So I stood up on the stage. I apologized to my teammates for even what I believed was taken out of context. I took accountability for what I said and apologized to my teammates in the front of that team meeting. Now, Jay, knowing that he had asked me to do that and still went to the media and tore me down to the media, even in that room. He looked at me and he said, you shouldn't be comparing yourself to one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. 
which was Aaron Rodgers, because I mentioned Aaron and Peyton in the press conference. And I looked over at Jay Gruden and I told him I was not comparing myself to effing Aaron Rodgers. And I don't want to say that a fight almost broke out. But when I look and I hear Jay Gruden say things like what he said, not only is it unbelievable that he doesn't think that I don't know where all the bodies are buried. It's the fact that he has zero self-awareness and zero integrity. Because even though he asked me to do something, he didn't have the balls to have my back. And that was the reason that Jay Gruden wasn't successful in Washington. It had nothing to do with me. We won the division title and almost every person in the locker room hated each other because attitude reflects leadership. So when you talk to me about Jay Gruden, understand that I haven't talked about Jay. I haven't talked about any coaches that have been there in a negative way because I've moved on with my life. But if Jay wants to talk, we can talk. And what you have to first do, Jay Gruden, is take accountability for what you did and what you didn't do. So don't come to me talking about all these sly shots when you're the one who asked me to do something in the media that I haven't talked about for almost 10 years. 10 years I haven't talked about it. Now we're talking about it. So if you keep going, I'm just letting you know right now, don't play with me. Don't play with me. I will absolutely end any credibility that you did have, let alone with that last name. RG3 and the Ones is presented by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. We make it bank, people. It's as simple as this. You need to select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. Boom. Daily fantasy sports is made easy with Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash RG3 and use code RG3 for a first deposit match of up to $100. It's a lot of money, y'all. 